Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today we are playing some ARK Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Today, guys, we are back on the PVX Clock server, and as you might have noticed, we are kind of in a mountainous area here, and that is because we are at Far's Peak looking for some griffins. Um, it does happen to be in the PvP zone right now, so hopefully we don't run into anybody or any bases with turrets. Um, but yeah, I have finally hit level 40 on the server, and so I think it's time to tame up some low-level griffins that have the last name ending um, in N-A. Since I am Iguana, I can definitely tame anything that has the last two letters being N-A. Uh, everything else I'm definitely going to get rid of here. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to do this. I'm basically going to be flying around. Hopefully I'll get lucky and find a low-level griffin with that name. I basically want to just get a breeding pair so that we can get some griffin kibble going. Because on a hard server, you can get up to level 300 wild griffins. And trying to tame one of those of al with aloe kibble will take literally 5 or 6 hours if you have a soothing bomb. And that's provided you have enough aloe kibble to do it. So definitely in the market for a couple of lower level tames here. And then hopefully from there we can branch out and find ourselves a higher level one. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start scouring the mountain for a better griffin. And I will bring you guys back when we find one. Okay guys, so we are back and here is a male level 150. It's much higher than I would like, but it is um, ending in an NA. And as you can see, it does respect me because of that N.A. name. So I'm gonna go ahead and lead this guy back to this trap that I have set up, um, kind of over where my base is on Toast Kingdom. All right, if I can get him to attack me, that would be great. There you go, come on. Come this way. Don't get distracted, good boy. Okay, so I'm gonna lead this guy back to base because I cannot pass this opportunity up. Um, I have been searching for the NA name for quite some time here, so I'm actually going to go ahead and let my tribe mates know where I am. Um, yeah, not bad, not bad. I'm super excited about this. Well, 150, it's a little higher than I would have liked in terms of getting kibble, but it is still pretty low overall on the server. It's pretty much um, equivalent to a level 75 on a medium server, so about exactly half of the available levels. Um, and then I am going to go ahead and tame this guy up. It will take quite some time. Um, I have no, no delusions about that. This is going to be a long tame, but, uh, I do think we'll make it work. And I think he's going to be a fantastic griffin to have once I've got him up. Even if he's not the highest level, um, I will keep a sharp eye out for a female also having that NA name. And then I will go ahead and get him all, get a few griffin kibble, and get a better griffin after that. That's kind of the end goal here. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and lead this guy back. Let's see if we can get him over here. It's kind of a long process. He's starting to aggro on my tribe mate here. I'll let him keep hitting me. Luckily, I do have a pretty good RG here. Um, so the best way to keep aggro on these guys is to just actually let them hit you every once in a while. So get kind of ahead of them. Let them come up and hit you and then keep going, and they will stay aggroed on you. Uh, it's a bit of a process, but it does work pretty, pretty well here. All right, come on. Hit me, there you go. Be a happy, be a happy griffin. Okay. All right, I believe I have the trap set up over here. So I wanna make sure I have a really straight shot when I come over here. So I'm actually gonna come back this way a little bit and make sure that I'm bringing this thing head on at this trap. Uh, there we go. Hit me, there we go. Now we should be able to get him in here. I'm actually gonna land and just walk in. And tap the gate. There we go. He should be all the way in. Perfect. Okay. Yes, I am super excited about this. Um, this is about as good as it could have possibly gone. So I'm going to go ahead and go grab some uh, 
Actually, I need a trink gun. Um, now that I think about it, I don't actually have a long neck rifle on me. So I'll go grab one. Um, I'll probably leave my tribe mate here. And I will bring you guys right back and we'll start tranking this guy out. So I'll see you in just a few seconds here. Okay, guys, so we are back. Uh, this griffin is still very much trapped, which is fantastic. I do have a long neck rifle now with some trank darts, so we should be all set to start tranking this guy out. Wow, he can hit me through the gate. That's new. Um, I am going to have to be very careful not to open one of these gates and let him out. Um, that could definitely be a problem. So I do have a tri mate here helping me out since we just have primitive long necks at the moment. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let him know he can start. And we will knock this guy out, hopefully. That hurt a little bit. I do have to be really careful because my attack button on the uh, left-hand side of the screen, which I'm using to avoid opening the gate, is actually really close to my end record button. So I'm trying not to hit that while I'm trying to trank this guy out. Got to be very careful. All right, luckily he's only a level 150, so he should go out relatively quickly um, compared to like a level 300 here. Man, he does not have a lot of health though. All right, I do like that the reload actually has a pretty good pause in here, which is really handy, um, especially for a creature like this that can get very easily like, pretty easily hurt um, if you're not super careful about it. All right, here we go. There we go. All right, he's running. All right, we're going to have just one person hit it now, um, just so that there's no, like, ugh, there we go. No problems with this. I probably did make this trap a little bit too narrow here. But that is okay. Got him. Oh man, he's definitely running. Hopefully he goes out pretty quickly here. Oh man, it's hard to shoot between these gates. I definitely built them a little bit too close together. But um, by the time I realized that, they were already long gone. And at least... I know for a fact that no griffin will ever get out of the top of this trap. Um, it is far too narrow for that, so that is definitely a good thing. Actually, we'll go ahead and come over this side. I think I have a bigger gap here. Yeah, slightly bigger gap here. Can't really get in, but might be able to reach him. Nope. That's not what I want. Oh my goodness. Game, please. Sometimes. Um, if I'm very good, there we go. I can hit him through these bars a little bit. And if he sticks his head out up above, it should be a little bit easier to hit him. Hopefully. Man, I definitely should have spaced these out better because it is really difficult to aim between these. There we go. Got him. Okay. He should go down pretty soon now. Okay. Are you gonna go? Please? Be my friend? Be my friend. You're like so nice. <laughs> you respect me and everything. You know you want to be a part of the family here. Come on. Oh my gosh. I'm just not getting any of these hits. They're getting stuck between the gates. There we go. Gotta aim just right. Can I hit his foot? Yes. That works. Yes, I do wish I had an Ascendant Long Neck Rifle right now. Unfortunately, I have been raided like three days in a row now, which is a little bit ridiculous. Um, and so I don't have a whole lot of stuff at the moment. Uh, we've kind of just been trying to get back with primitive stuff. And he's down. Beautiful. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and open this up so I can actually see him. Very, very nice. Uh... So his name is Balfina. Um, his stats are not going to be very impressive since he's only like mid, mid range basically for this server. But I am still pretty happy with him. I'm going to go ahead and get myself a soothing bomb right away. 
and give it to him. And then we are going to start, um, start getting this guy tamed up. Now I do have some biotoxin that we gathered up earlier from a bunch of jellyfish along the coast of Fars Peak. And I do have a chef station that I'm going to use here to get like all of the aloe kibble we could ever need. Um, I did stock this thing up really well, anticipating that I would probably use it for a griffin tame at some point. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and just get like 21 kibble, which hurts, it's really expensive, but uh, it's gonna be worth it in the long run. I think I really, really wanna get this griffin up and I really want him to basically be be my ride for the next little bit um, until we can find a female and get hopefully something a little bit more OP. That's going to be the end goal is to get a set of high level breeding griffins. Hopefully we'll be able to get mutations. I'm not sure how well that's going to work on a PVP based server, but uh, we'll do our best here. All right. So this is going to take a long time. So I will bring you guys back uh, when we get Balfina up here. Okay guys, so we are back and this griffin is just about to finally take its last bite of kibble here. It has been a long haul. It has been nearly three and a half hours, maybe four, um, quite some time for sure. And uh, definitely has taken a lot of aloe kibble. I think it total took about 53 aloe kibble. And finally, finally, last one, here we go. Yes. Oh my goodness. Finally. Okay. So at long last, we have this Griffin. This is Balfina. Um, oh my gosh. I'm just so, so excited that we finally have a Griffin that is up and running. Uh, pretty good looking Griffin overall. Definitely, definitely enjoying this guy. Oh my gosh. Just got him and I'm pretty happy about it. Go ahead and take him out for a quick ride here. Oh my goodness. It feels good to be on a griffin, and it definitely feels good to be on a griffin um, at such a low level. That seems like such an important thing to me, honestly, at this point. Uh, let's go ahead and kill this griffin just because he's kind of in the way here, and I really want to test this guy out a little bit. Um, get a little bit of uh, experience going on him. Sabalot. That's an interesting name. All right. So we'll take down a couple of these guys and then we'll head out and basically, I guess, just test out this new griffin. It feels so, so good to be on this griffin after waiting for so long for that tame. I do have to say, as much as the tame time is painful, it is extremely nice that you are able to actually like get around on one of these guys once you've gotten one and it makes them feel I don't know a little bit more special in the long run um, just because you put so much time and effort into them and then they end up being so good I haven't even checked the stats on this guy actually all right let's do that real quick since I'm thinking about it oh wow okay so for a level 205 this griffin actually has a really high stamina already um, 720 is one of the higher Stamina's that I've seen on a griffin of this level. He actually has pretty high health as well, but pretty low melee Overall, so that's definitely something to be aware of. I don't think I'm gonna use this guy for breeding He's a little bit too low level for that um, So I'm just gonna go ahead and start leveling him up first thing I like to level is definitely movement speed Get going a little bit faster around the map and then beyond that. It's mostly all about the stamina. Oh my gosh I'm so happy that I have a griffin, guys. It feels right. RGs are great, but they are so low, and I love getting around the map super quick. I think that is one of the things I enjoy most about Ark, is just flying as fast as I can all across the map. This is Moroon. That's a hilarious name. I don't know why, it just makes me laugh. Um, we're gonna kill this guy. We don't need him. Um, and yeah, I'm basically just out here trying to test this guy out. This is so much easier in terms of like actually killing griffins as well than trying to use an RG. So I'm very, very happy with this guy. He's not a super high level, but uh, you know, I'm kind of happy about that because if he was a high level, he would have taken much longer to tame up 
and I am all about those fast tames if I can get them. So, I'm going to keep this guy. I'm going to keep on searching for a female ending in NA. When I eventually find one, we're going to make some griffin kibble, and then we're going to keep an eye out. Um, I'll probably go scouting once or twice a day and look for a griffin that ends in NA that is much higher level. Hopefully a level 300. We'll see how that goes. And basically, all I'm trying to do is get myself a really good griffin, um, breed it up, and then get a really good imprinted griffin. So it's kind of a long process, but I think once I get there, it's definitely going to be worth it because having that really OP griffin makes the game so much more enjoyable for me personally. I know that feelings about griffins are kind of mixed out there, but I love them and I am super, super happy that we have them in the game. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy with this guy. He is going to be my main griffin for now. My whole goal is going to be to keep him safe and keep him out of the PvP zone as much as possible, basically. Alright, guys. So, I do think that that is actually going to do it for today's episode. So, if you did find yourself enjoying this one at any point, guys, please do remember to hit that like button because it seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off, this is The Iguana. <laughs>